We are we're halfway through the year now, a little over halfway through the year now, I should say, by the time this comes out. Mm-hmm. So that means it's time to take a look at the back yeah. half of 2024 and see what's coming out and everything. And just, you know, remind ourselves about, you know, what's what's coming. What's what to look forward to? What's upcoming Potent- on the horizon? Potentially. Horizon. Why horizon. did you go Southern for that? I Someone's got it. You know what? I got you covered. Sometimes it comes <laughs> out for no good reason. True. Uh, hello, welcome to this week's episode of the Seasonal Anime Checkup OVA. It's a podcast where we have conversations about video games, anime, and manga. Hello, I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Allen, Lady Um. Hello. This is episode 393. We're getting close to 400. Can you believe that? What are we going to do for 400? I do not know. We'll figure that out at some point, for sure. <laughs> Gotcha. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take a look at stuff coming out in the rest of 2024 in terms of the video games and the animes. Mm-hmm. Just to remind ourselves of what to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've talked about a lot of this stuff, you know, with the, the recent Summer Games Fest and the Nintendo Direct came out. But, you know, there's going to be some other stuff on here that we obviously did not get to talk about when we were... Uh, discussing those or some stuff that might have gotten glossed over because, you know, we just didn't get all the information we needed, per se. Right. So uh, it's a good way to reflect on that and do and do it this way. So uh, July has already started by the time you're listening to this. Yes. Um, some stuff has come out in this first week of July. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like sure the, new, has. the new Final Fantasy XIV expansion pack is out. Hey, Jared's been playing that. I have been playing that. It's true. How you liking it? It's fun. Um, I guess I don't want to get like too spoilery on this. Um, but no, like, that's fair. It is. It's interesting to see what they've done because like the last expansion ended their big story that they had been building since 1.0 and everything, and this is kind of just like a brand new experience. And they basically was like, "Hey, what if we just made a shonen story?" <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "All right, cool, sweet. <laughs> I'm into that." Uh, so yeah, uh, what else we got? We got Resident Evil 7 coming to the Mac and phones. If you want to play it on your phone, I guess. Sure. Uh, let's see. July the 4th saw Zenless Zone Zero. That's the new uh, Hoyo game out on computers, phones, and the PlayStation. And then July the 5th, <gasps> The Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak is out on the PC, Switch, and PlayStations. I'm so excited. Al, hopefully we'll be have, we've already been playing it by the time this episode comes out. My god, I hope so. If they decide to ship it to her on time. Why will they not sh- why have they not shipped it to me? Why have they not shipped it? It's a holiday and I need I need it before <laughs> My 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 only hope is that like it's in California already and they're just like, "Well, if we ship it now, it'll get there before release." I don't know. That'd be nice, but hopefully you you have it and get to enjoy some daybreak uh, when that I, drops. I will cry if not. Uh, what else we got here? July the 11th, Ace Combat 7's coming to the Switch, so you get the Strangerverse uh, universe on Switch. You can see that PNG dog. What? There's a cutscene in Ace Combat 7 where it's just like a lady and a dog sitting next to a plane, and the dog is very clearly just a PNG. <laughs> oh. It's very good. <laughs> oh, man. What else we got here? Uh, July 15th, Darkest Dungeon 2 is coming out to everything. Uh, July 16th, you want to play that Demon Slayer board game not on the Switch? Well, now you can. Because now it'll be on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, there's a, apparently a Ninja Turtles game coming out on the 17th, but it's a roguelike. We know how much Al loves the roguelikes. You know, not for me, but I'm sure people are going to be real jazz about it. You like jazz? Do I like jazz? Yeah, ish. <laughs> uh, July 18th, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition comes out. That is very soon. Uh, yeah, there was a, a treehouse with them playing that earlier. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That happened this week. Uh, July the 19th, of course, everyone's going to be getting EA Sports College Football 25 for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. This uh, this game looks very good. The uh, first college football game they've made in 11 years. Uh, 
real players are going to be in it for the first time ever and getting paid for their likenesses, which is nice. Good for them. Good for yeah. them. That's amazing. Um, and it looks like they are doing all the right things for bringing that series back. Uh, like the Dynasty mode looks like the Dynasty mode you want. Like the gameplay looks different enough for Madden, which is what you want from these games. Uh, the presentation looks really, really good. So like it is... It's shaping up to be something good, and like EA sports games have not necessarily had something exciting come out, you know, anytime soon recently. So like, this is this is cool to see. Right. Uh, uh, and then also, Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess comes out. That's that Capcom game they showed off at Summer Games Fest. I think there's like a demo of that out now as well. So, oh, is there? If you are interested in that, it is available. I think on all the platforms it's on, which is PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, the new Denpa Man comes out on the 22nd of July for the Switch, which we saw at the Nintendo Direct, which looked just bonkers. That did look very bonkers. Uh-huh. Uh, F1 Manager 2024, of course, coming out on the 23rd of July for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox if you want to get your uh, Manager racing simulation on. I know Al's very excited for that. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, let's see, 25th of, de- of December? No, July. We're not going that far ahead into the nope. future. <laughs> We're not going that far ahead. Earth Defense Force 6 comes out for PC and PlayStation. So you can just Unfortunately, a game you will never play. True. You can get all your friends together and chant EDF. I think there's one of these EDF games that's coming out soon. It's like got a bunch of like VTubers in it as well. Oh, my God. I don't remember which one it is, though. I don't know if it's this one or like one of the other ones coming out later this year. Uh, and then also Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus comes to the Switch. I've been thinking about getting that because I wanted to play Tokyo Xanadu again, but I also am like, I already own Tokyo Xanadu, so why wouldn't I just play Tokyo Xanadu again? Well, I think the thing with this is that like they redid the localization. Oh, sh- really? I think that's the case. I remember seeing that. Let me see if I can look this up real quick. If my computer will be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. X plus Switch. Yeah, I think they did work to this. Oh, it's wow. It's not just like a straight up port. Uh, let's see here. Where would this be? Let's see if the Nintendo page has anything on this. Probably not. But that would be nice. Um, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to like you know go back and replay this game because they are making a new Tokyo Xanadu at some point. Mm-hmm. So I probably should just go ahead and pick this one up. Plus, it's on the Switch, right? Yes, this is a Switch. This is a Switch release. So I could play it from my bed. You could play it from your bed. That would be great. All these pages are loading, so it doesn't show me price or anything or any of that nature, which is always fun. Mm-hmm. Computers are fun. Anyways, fun. I will come back to this once these pages load. <laughs> uh, let me know if there's any Otome games or anything that are coming out. Um, um, let me check my my pre-orders. This is a Xan- Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus is fifty dollars. By the way, that's not terrible. No. I mean, that's uh, that's a very good game, so highly, highly recommend. Yeah, so this says, this updated version of Tokyo Xanadu for Nintendo Switch includes all additional content for the game, which that's just the EX Plus version, and right. a revamped localization of the story. Wow. Um, I don't see any Atome games that I have pre-ordered. Okay. So. Well, how about I give you one? All right, give me one. Starting on August the 1st, how about Hakuoki Chronicles of Wind and Blossom for the Switch? Ah. <sighs> Huh? I I really wanted to get into that one. <laughs> but you've just never been able to get into those games. I've never been able like to do it. And there's like 30 of them. Right. There's so many. Why are there so many? I, it's a great question. Uh, What else? What else is happening on the first? Oh, yeah. Tomba is coming back out. A re-release of Tomba for the PC, Switch, and PS5. And then I think they're also doing Tomba 2 at some point. It's cool. I remember cool. playing a lot of the Tomba demos when I was a kid because I would just like they would always show up on PlayStation demo discs at some point. So I played a lot of those demos, but never played the actual game itself. <laughs> uh, August the sixth sees Pepper Grinder for PlayStation and Xbox, which was like the um, side scrolling, but like he was like digging through ground and all that sort of stuff. I think we talked about how it reminded us oh, of right. that one dungeon in Minish Cap. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Ba 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 ba. This 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 is called Grapple Dogs. That's just all I got. It just says Grapple Dogs. Is Dredge getting an expansion? Is it? I'm looking. Or is this just like a re-release? No, it's just like on everything. Uh, another paid DLC, the Iron Rig. So that's coming out on July, on August the fifteenth. New Dredge DLC. Well, I'll probably have to get. I like this just fishing as the joke. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Not wrong. Um, so I'll have to. I'll have to get that. Hopefully, I remember to get that. But um, I had a lot of fun with the that dredge in general and the last dlc with the mm -hmm. narwhal was pretty good so i will i will get more dlc for that and literally just play it on stream yeah uh madden comes out on august 16th so that means the video games are coming back they have seen their shadow or not seen their sh i don't remember which way that goes i don't either uh black myth wukong comes out on pc and ps5 it is another action rpg based off of journey to the west is we that the one with like the monkey man yeah we've talked about that uh, numerous times, I believe, now from different preview events and everything. Uh, Concord comes out on the 23rd of August. That was the space or sci fi game that looked cool, and then it turned out to be a hero shooter that Sony's making. Right. Uh, August 26th, World of Warcraft, The War Within. It's time to go back to WoW. Wow. With their next expansion. They'll be doing yeah. something, <laughs> they'll do something. Yep. Don't know what, but they'll do it. Uh, August 29th, Gundam Breaker 4. I hope that game is good. I hope it is also good. That's Not for I... me, but for everyone else. Yeah. Uh, squirrel with a gun. It's a squirrel with a gun. That's all you need to know. Pew pew. <laughs> and then Visions of Mana comes out that day as well for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Is this like a... I, this is yeah. a new Mana game, not a remake. It is. I have that one pre-ordered. I feel like with these games, like it's very hard to remember which one's like a remake and which one's like new. No, this is a nude one. Yeah. I don't know why I said nude. It's a new one. It is <laughs> not not nude. nude. Nobody's naked. No one is naked. Unless you get like a mod for it. I I'm good. I don't want anybody <laughs> naked in my Mana games. Uh so that comes out on, what does that say, the 29th, and then August the 30th, Star Wars Outlaws, PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X, uh, pew pew. Pew pew. In the Star Wars verse. Pew pew pew, pew pew pew. September is, uh, is the time of September. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Well, there are no games coming out on the 21st night of September, so tough luck, <laughs> Uh But... We have games coming out in September regardless, like Stalker mm -hmm. 2 coming out on the 5th for PC and Xbox. Mm -hmm. The Ace Attorney Investigations Collection coming out on the 6th for PC, so Switch, and PS4 and Xbox. Alongside Astrobot for PS5. I'm going to be busy that day. Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is a, re a new version or what, but they're putting out a new Yars game on the 10th. Uh, yes, that's the... That's the way forward version. Yes. That is correct. So there's that. I mean, everyone's going to be playing Funko Fusion on the 13th. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Uh, UFO 50 comes out on the September 18th for PC. This is a game made by like a bunch of indie devs, and it's just a bunch of random games they put together in it, and it looks neat. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. The Dead Rising remake comes out on September 19th for PS5, Xbox, and PC. If you want to play Dead Rising 1 again, I guess. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, God of War Ragnarok also comes to PC that day. Uh, you want to be Mickey. a God of War on the PC? Yeah, Epic Mickey Rebrush comes out on the 24th of September. The, 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 the September. There we go. There you go. Nailed it. First uh, try. That's for everything. And I then, liked the first one, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll get this version. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop comes out on the 25th. The remake of that for basically everything. Uh, let's see here. 
There's another EDF game coming out on the 26th. Wow. Alongside The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Get to play a Zelda. 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 She is here. She's here. Uh, let's move into October. Starting okay. off with Master Detective Archives Rain Code Plus for the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. I am almost tempted to get this again so that I can play a version of it that doesn't run like ass. <laughs> That's fair. Because it's a really good game. It is. I'm glad more people are going to be able to play it and also be able to play it at a frame rate and like resolution that is like good. <laughs> That doesn't run like ass. Yeah, so like that's that's great. Yeah, like I, I'm also tempted because I'm like, oh, you know, I'd like to give them another sale so that they can continue making stuff that's good. But at the same time, I'm also like, do I really want to spend that extra money? Um, but I do want to play it where it runs not at like molasses speed. Yeah. Uh, it's a good like, game. Everybody should play it. Yeah, it's got all the all the content in it. I think maybe like there may be some bonus stuff, but I don't know if there's any like new new stuff. I don't. Uh, but yeah, that's coming out on the first of October. Uh, on October the eighth, Diablo Four: Vessel of Hatred. Arr. Arr. That's the big expansion for Diablo Four coming to everything. Uh, on the same day, the eighth of October, Silent Hill Two comes to the PC and PS Five. The remake mm -hmm. of that. mm Hmm. So we'll be very curious to see how that uh, works out. I know some people are super jazzed about it, so I hope that it's good. Yeah. Uh, October the 10th, Fantasy Life I, The Girl Who Steals Time, comes to the Switch. I'm very excited for this to come out finally. It's been a very long time in development, but it'll be nice to see this finally come out, and hopefully it is good. I don't even remember this one. Uh, it's it's a new Fantasy Life game. Fantasy Life was a game that was on the 3DS where like you basically just like can play the game however you want if you want to like play it with different combat styles you can you can just or you just like go around and be like i'm gonna be a carpenter and that's my job and that's how i play the game like you can just do stuff like that it's very open-ended in terms of like how they uh let you play it and like it's very it's, I mean, it's made by level five so it's very much like that design ethos and all that so hmm. uh, i really like that that 3ds game so i'm very hopeful for this one uh, October the 11th, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which we did not get to talk about when the, the game rewards, or not the game awards, Summer Game Fest, because like, it was just not on our list for some reason. Um, but they, right. they showed that there, and it, it looked very good. There were some fun things in there, like alternate uh, takes on the story, mm -hmm. where it was like, here's the Cell Saga, and here's uh, the end of the, the thing with Cell, the end of the fight with Cell, but instead of Gohan and Goku doing the father-son Kamehameha. It's Vegeta. it's Vegeta and Trunks doing a father-son uh, final flash. And I was like, yeah, let's go! That's awesome. <laughs> yeah! Uh, there's, like, other stuff as well in there that they, uh, they've they thrown in of, like, alternate timeline or just alternate reality stuff. And it looks really interesting. Um, uh, the fighting looks good and everything. It's going to have, like, a giant list of cast of characters because that's just how these games are. Um, so that was exciting to see. I just, I really popped huge for the, the, the Vegeta Trunks thing. <laughs> that was very, I'm, I'm a Vegeta fan now. Exactly. So you get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I saw that. It was like, oh, shit, look at them go. Let's go. So, you know, I'm, I'm now a Vegeta degenerate. So anytime I see him do anything cool, I'm, I'm all in. As you should, of course. Yeah. Except for that mustache. That was a <laughs> Well, that's not, that's not canon, <laughs> so it's fine. Not non-canonical mustache. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also on October the 11th, Metaphor Refantasio for everything. I'm getting this one. I'm still... Cautious. Yes. Mm -hmm. um... Fair. Uh, the 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 the, uh, the the team is a little, and by yeah. team I mean leadership is a little alarming still. But yeah. um, it looks great. I mean, like it 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 has all the swag that Reload and Five had. So like, mm -hmm. looks incredible. Um, the gameplay looks fun. The art's fun. Um, let's just hope that. Oh my God, the cat just fell out of the window. <laughs> That happens. Uh, let's just hope that there's, you know, no no, no homophobia yeah. or transphobia or, you know, whatever else they might. Sexism, because you can't be friends with women. Yeah. 
oh my god he's just hanging like it's 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 like the titanic right now that it's like sideways ish and each one's just like all right cool i'll lay on it like this <laughs> He is he is no brain cell and also is just too chill to understand that he's falling. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the uh, big orange cat. The podcast with orange cat. That's fair. Uh, what else we got here? Also on the eleventh October, Undisputed comes out to the consoles. That is the the like first big boxing game that has been made in like again like a decade or so. So that's interesting. Uh, 15th of October is the New World expansion that also comes to consoles where you can play it like just by yourself if you want. Amazon really wants people to play this game, so I, there you go. Uh, 17th of October, Super Mario Party Jamboree. Get your friends together and uh, have a jamboree. And become not friends anymore after playing it. True. Uh, 24th of October, Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven, the re- remake of Romancing Saga 2 is out. Cool. Uh, the 25th of October sees an expanded edition of the Atari 50 game. What What is that even? I think there's like what? more games and more behind the scenes stuff in it. I see. Uh, also, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, where, you know, you get to hang out with your boys, George H.W. Bush and Bill Clinton and your gal Margaret Thatcher and your homie Saddam Hussein. So all your friends are here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then also on the 25th, Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. <laughs> what a weird combination. Uh, the 28th, 28th, 8th, 8th, there you go, 28th of October, Real Fishing, Days of Summer. You want to get your fishing on, that's coming to everything. Is it like a fishing game or is it's it? It's a fishing like- game. <laughs> Oh, okay, so probably not something I would be interested in. I mean, these in. Are, from looking at the Wikipedia, like, this is a series that, like, they, they bundled fishing controllers with. Oh. So, there is that. Uh, and then the 29th of October, Life is Strange Double Exposure comes out. Nice. For the PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And then to be announced in October, of course, Just Dance 2025. Everyone's favorite video game. Why did they not talk about that at their their again? That's just a, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's very confusing. November, November, November the seventh sees Mario and Luigi Brothership. I'm so Brother. jazzed, Brother. Brother. Uh, November eighth, Slitterhead. This is the game from the dude who made Silent Hill, which we saw at Summer Game Fest. Right. Or it looked very funky. Uh, November 12th, of course, Farming Simulator 25. We're back. We're back, baby. Can we jump a house? I mean, probably. It's, it's what we did in Farming Simulator. But will Simulator. you have Celine Dion blasting in the background? That's the real question. You f- bet I will. If if that's what you want. I mean, if you don't want that, then we can find something else. Or we could pick another Celine Dion song. It's true. Or what if we did like Michael Bolton? <laughs> All fantastic choices. Yes, absolutely. Will we be actually farming? Probably not. Hey, we did Will a little we bit of farting. This- farting, farming. <laughs> we did some farting, of course. Yeah. Um. <laughs> to be fair, I will not play this unless I can get it for free. That's fair. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Don't blame um, but- you. But the free version, you know, it was fun. It was. It was a good time. Uh, what else we got here? November 14th, Dragon Quest Three HD 2D Remake comes out finally for everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the 15th, Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out for everything with Switch. And we'll then, make the chuds mad for the yeah. holidays. The 19th of November sees Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 for the PC and Xbox. Get your flying on. I was going to say vroom vroom, but airplanes don't go vroom vroom. No, not really. How how do you how do you make an airplane sound in your mouth? Yeah. Okay. Like that. <laughs> uh then December to be announced, we have Fantasia Neo Dimension for everything. The remake or not remake, but port of Fantasia. Uh Lego Horizon Adventures for the PS5, Switch, and PC, and also the Switch Port of Stray, and then the Tales of the Strider, the Lord of the Rings game for everything, essentially. 
Okay, a few things here. Yes. Fantasian. Really, really excited about this re-release, especially since I learned that there is a difficulty mode on mm -hmm. here now. Yes. Um, because I never was able to finish it because the second half was brutally hard. Um, but this game is so fun and it's so beautiful and I really want to beat it. So I'm really, really, really excited um, that it's getting a port. And I'm hoping that this means that there might be more Mistwalkers. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, also, I hope this is your chance to play the game because it, it is a pain in the ass to play in any other form. True. That is, you're, not, you're not wrong. Um, um, and then Tales of the Shire has fishing. Fish. Fish. So eventually I will obtain that and hopefully I will get it on a sale. Yeah. Uh, not day one. Is there any other Atome games that we missed? Um... I, I was trying to find like um like a, a list of Atome games that are coming out, but let me see if I can find something. Because I know uh, um, the... um 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 Bust of Fellows is next year. Uh-huh. That's um, the only one I can remember. The the Verse Evermore one's coming out fall twenty twenty four. F that not interested. That doesn't exist. Uh, no. Yeah, nothing really big has been announced so far. And there could be um, something that's that. like uh, announced in the next couple of days with like Anime Expo coming. Anime Expo, yeah, I'm assuming that, so. so, honestly. <laughs> there is all that. Uh, also, I guess we didn't mention, but September is when the, the answer comes out, the Persona 3 Reload DLC. Ah, yes, yes. Um, episode, I guess. Yes, so that is exciting is to, to see how they change that up and everything and how that Hopefully goes. Hopefully make it less of a miserable experience. Yeah, big time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the story of it's fine, um, but, like, playing it's it sucked. Play, so yeah. hopefully, it's not fun to play, so hopefully they made it fun to play. I can only hope, honestly. That is true. Uh, there's still some unscheduled stuff here, which I don't know if this is gonna if this is stuff that's gonna come out or not. Um, there was the rumors that like Avowed has a fall release date, but then Xbox is quickly like, nope, you didn't, you didn't see anything. Don't hmm. look at this. Hmm. So who who knows if that's actually true or not? Uh, let's see what else we got in this list of video games that would be fun to talk about, like Hatsune Miku. The boxing one? I think that's out. It's not out. Is it not out? It is not out because I have that pre-ordered because I want to get hot by boxing with Hatsune Miku. Hell yeah. I was trying to decide, like, do I want the Fist of North Star version or the Hatsune Miku? And I, I, I haven't decided yet, so I pre-ordered this one just in case. And then I have the other one in my cart, and I'm trying to decide. I mean, the Miku one would just be funny. I think it'd be hilarious to box as, as Miku or with Miku. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be punching Miku? No, you're just going to be like punching with her. Cool. She's going to train you. I want to be trained. Train me. Make make me hot. Uh, with punching. Yeah, exactly. Then you can become a Vocaloid. Oh, sweet. I've always wanted to be one. Let's see here. <laughs> I have like breakers on here. Yes, but it doesn't have like a date date. Do we do we really not have a date for that yet? I don't know. Some hmm. of this could also just be like not completely updated per se. No, that's fair. That's fair. Is this a penny blood thing? The one like you have? Uh, Hellbound. It's, it's Hellbound. A... Yes. Okay. So apparently um, that's going to get an official release in Q3, maybe. Oh, interesting. I need to actually play that. Yeah. Um, it's on my PC. I just haven't played it because it's on my PC and I struggle. Yeah. With with PC. <laughs> um, what's what else we got here? Anything fun? Um, oh. which by the way, if you if you don't know what Penny of Blood is, it's uh like the spiritual successor to the Shadow Hearts series, which yes. is one of the best RPG series that exists. Um, and people should play it, but. It's very hard to access because it's literally still stuck on the PS2. True. Shadow Hearts 1 and 2. Play them. They're great. They'll make you cry. 
Uh, <laughs> um, not much else really that like we haven't talked about recently on here. So, uh, there's some uh, we got some video game based films and televisions, of course. Oh, tell me about them. Uh, how about the Borderlands movie? Oh right. <laughs> Sorry. I mean that's fair. Uh, Netflix is making an animated Tomb Raider series. They are. Oh right, they are. They are. That's coming in October, and also in October, the Amazon Prime Like a Dragon series about the first game. Yeah. Which is and again very wild. That is very wild. I, I, I'm sure we'll watch it. I don't see why we wouldn't watch right. it. Right. Uh, Sonic Three comes out in December. Cool. I'll watch that whenever it comes somewhere that's free. Mm hmm. Uh, then also there is a Dead Cells animated series, and then Netflix is making a Devil May Cry series. I did know about that. Yeah. Uh, so that's the end of 2024 in the video games. Mm hmm. How's anime looking? Do you know? Uh, that's a great question. Anime, I mean, summer's just probably getting underway right now. Mm hmm. By the time this comes out and everything. So let's take a look at what's coming out for the summer and then we'll look at the fall and then see what else is happening. Um, uh, isn't like Petit Bourgeois coming out soon? Sorry, what? <laughs> isn't that what it's called? You just you just went French on me very quickly. I did because it's in French. Ha ha ha. Um, the, the new one that's based, uh, that's, it's um, based on something that the guy who wrote Hyoka. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's soon. I think it's the season, but I could be I wrong. Well, what if you want to watch the Suicide Squad anime? What? Yeah, that's a thing. What? Yeah. Huh? What do you want to watch the anime about a girl and a deer? What is happening with this girl? They're just hanging out. The deer. Okay. All There's right. friends. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Anything that I actually recognize, or is or is it just all going to be like here's new stuff? And I'm just like I don't know. New stuff. Typically tends to be the thing for summer. It's just new stuff. New stuff. You like new stuff. Sometimes. Yeah, that kind of be, just seems to be the case. New stuff. I don't even see this on this list. I don't either. The uh, so the first Niji movie comes out in September, though. <gasps> right. This is very exciting. Love to see that. Because who doesn't? Ah. Ah, don't I, get scared. I, f I forgot how to spell bourgeois. Bourgeois. Ho, ho, ho. Give me a release date. Bourgeois. Since July 2024, but. So probably. But like maybe, when? Maybe it's just like under like his Japanese name in here. Maybe. I don't know what that would be, but. Uh, Shoshimin? Shoshimin series. Yeah. Uh, episode one airing in three days, 13 hours. Wait, really? Yes. Where do you see that? I'm on Annie chart. I don't know where that is. It's a website. Well, I assume that. Do you know if Crunchy's getting it? I'm looking that up right now. Okay. Because there's, uh -huh. there's an it's, icon there on it, it for it for it but I don't know if that means like yeah yes it is or what the case I just wanted to you know be be certain no that's fair but that's that's the one thing that I'm like real jazzed about yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that was like a thing so it's good for you good of you to remind me yay to... I am helpful with anime summer series is list of stuff blah, blah, so blah, was that blah, Friday blah. uh <laughs> Potentially. Or Saturday? Uh, Shoshimen, How to Become Ordinary, airing mm -hmm. July the 6th on Crunchyroll. That's Saturday. So Saturday. Okay. So, so Crunchy. 
is getting it. Yes. Yay! You'll have to watch it with me. Yeah, of course. Yay! Uh, what's, what's happening in fall? A lot of stuff's happening in fall, of course. Because fall is, you know, the big stuff. Niji. Niji. Uh, ReZero Season 3. Blue Lock Season 2. Big animes are happening. Don to Don's getting its anime adaptation in October, and I'm very excited for that. I was say, isn't that the thing that you were excited about? Heck yeah. That I'll manga is that. very good. I will watch uh, that with you. I think this, I forget what the English title for this is. If I can look this up. I had it in my head, then I got sidetracked with all the other stuff we were talking about, and then I lost it. Well, while it. you're looking it up, Love Life Superstar should also be... Um, it yes, says October. season three of Love Life Superstar. Uh, Blue Box is coming in October. The anime adaptation of that, it is a sports rom-com. What? Yeah. Uh, it's about a dude who plays badminton and a girl who plays basketball, and like they have to like start living together when they're in in high school. Oh. And they uh, romance blossoms over time. Who could have seen that coming? Who could have seen that coming? It's very good. Cool. I really enjoy it. But yeah, that's coming out. Like you said, Love Life Superstar Season 3. We'll get to finally meet the new gal. And we end will just be there to just say Shibuya Kanon. Yeah, basically. Uh, also in October, Magic Lumiere is coming out, which is another good manga I've been reading. The adaptation of that, which is basically what if Magical Girls was like an office job. That sounds cool. It's very good. You're going to have to remind me to watch some of these things. Yeah. <laughs> fall is, you know, fall loves to have the big things happening. Fall going to fall. Fall going to fall. Uh, what else? Anything else big here that's coming? Not really. Is there anything cool happening in winter that's been announced that we could talk about? Here, uh, the ad anime adaptation of Sakamoto Days is coming in January, which is good. Another manga I've been reading. It's very I don't fun. Know that one. Um, it's about a an assassin who's like out of the game now. He's just like a family man. He got like fat and runs a convenience store, but then like everyone he get like everyone decides to, like like the the hitman organization decides to put a hit out on him, so he has to like come out of retirement and like defend his family and all that sort of stuff. Oh, huh. It's fun. Nice. Uh, nothing else really here that I'm like I can super recognize in fall. Any TBA stuff that we should still talk about that would be like it's coming someday. Don't worry, we'll get there. Mm. Five years from now, it'll it'll show up and you'll be like, wow, cool. Wow. I, for I forgot they're doing like new Naruto episodes. What? Yeah. It's like for the anniversary or whatever. They're doing like just like four episodes of like an original Naruto. I see. Uh, season three of Spy Family comes out at some point. Which of course, right? that makes sense. Right. Uh, anything else? That is interest. Inter oh, yeah. The, there's that Disney Twisted Wonderland adaptation coming at some point. I, I, I'm starting to think that one's not actually going to ever come no, out. No, it's coming out. Don't worry. It's coming. Disney would never let you down. Mm, did that Color Cross Malice one ever come out? I think it did. It was like movies. Damn. But I think they eventually came out. Uh, I want to watch that. Well, if I can find it, we could do that. We should uh, do that. They're remaking Ronma One Half. The what? You know, Ronma One Half? Oh, it took me a second to register what the hell you meant. I I understand now. I am I am. I promise I'm not slow. <laughs> Brain's working. Don't worry. Fire in all cylinders. This is why I'm taking a vacation, my friend. Pew, pew. I gotta I gotta recharge this brain. Man, don't we all? Mm -hmm. Love to Ichiban? do a brain recharge. Do you, do you need to recharge your brain? He's like, yeah. I got one brain cell. It needs recharging. For sure. <laughs> uh, what do we got in movies? The Chainsaw Man uh, sequel movie comes out at some point. I know that's for sure. Well, the first, the, the, they did an anime series, the first of uh, 
first, and then this is a. Oh, I knew there was a series. That. Yeah, so this is a, se- a, se- a sequel okay. to the series. Uh, okay. This is a Zombieland saga movie eventually at some point. Should be fun. Uh, there's the second and third Niji movies. Just I don't think those have dates or anything, but that'll come out at some point, of course. Uh, this just got announced, uh, but they're making a compilation Yohane movie. Right. Just interesting. I hope that leads them to making a second season or something. Something. <laughs> Anything. Please feed us. That would be very nice. <laughs> I would very much enjoy that. I would too. Unsurprisingly, of course. Right. Us liking anything related to Love Life Sunshine? I but... know. It's a very big shocker. Such a big shocker. No one would ever see that coming. It's still hilarious to me that our book about Love Life Sunshine is on the the faculty publication shelf <laughs> uh, at Stanford and at also where, they had where it should be of course <laughs> right and and they had me sign it it's very funny yeah so both both my solo book and that book are on the on the bookshelf very good uh funny. that looks to be about it for that is there anything else that we should talk about coming out soon of like anything you want to talk about i don't mm. know Mm, I can't think of anything big. All right. Well, that that's okay. Well, that's it. We previewed the rest <laughs> of 2024. It's it's a thing that's happening. And we got six months to live it out. So look forward we, to that. <laughs> if uh, if if we make it that long. True. Uh, but that's gonna do it for us this week. Uh, so if you'd like more from us, head on over to season animecheckup.com or sac.cool where you can find past episodes of this podcast, another podcast like Jared now watch. You can also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you like more from Ann Ladium, go to AnnLadium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Anime Checkup. You can follow us on Blue Sky at SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com. You can buy our books, One Shiny Moment, A Critical Analysis of Love, Life, Sunshine, Hot Tubs, and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. And support us on Patreon, Patreon.com slash S-A-C-O-V-A. Buy us a slice of pizza. Get, a- get access excuse me, to unedited versions of the podcast early. Our bonus monthly Patreon podcast where we uh, recently talked about Spooderman 2. We have a new one coming up. Soon ish, probably. When, when we record it, eventually, yes, we will have a new one relatively soon, much sooner than normal. Yeah. Um. So look forward to that. Uh, and then there's just a bunch of other bonus stuff on there as well. Uh, next week, if I can find those bonus Nijion episodes, we'll talk about Nijion. If not, we'll talk about something else. Maybe we'll find that Color Cross Malice anime. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Hi. <laughs>